welcome. It's really great the way in which Fish Night as an event is starting to grow. And I don't know quite what the right metaphor is. If, if we were all bees, we'd be swarming. If we're fish, what do we do? Schooling. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're getting quite a lot of schooling going on. Um, and it's great to see people come into ID. We moved to this building three years ago very much with the aim of providing spaces where we could school, but also enjoy ourselves. So I hope very much that you'll stay on for something to eat <laughs> and something to drink afterwards, because uh, it's really nice to have the space to be able to, to meet, to talk, to listen, but also to enjoy ourselves together, because that's all part of how we can generate and share ideas. So I, I asked Esam what I should say, and he said, well, three important points. Why fisheries? What are the links to the post-2015 process? And why this focus on financing? So um, you probably know the answers to all of these questions. Why fisheries? Because they're a huge, important resource, providing multiple benefits to billions of people around the world in terms of um, key part of the diet in terms of livelihoods, in terms of all of the multiple benefits that marine environments provide to people. Um, but I think, as with so many things that are only semi-visible, fisheries haven't been well managed. And the value of these resources is often understated or ignored. Uh, fisheries, particularly European fisheries, have been really badly managed, um, overexploited and degraded. And I think that's more generally true of many um, fishing environments around the world. The, this point with the end of the MDGs and the start of the SDGs provides us in 2015 with a, a moment to say, that's enough. We've got to start managing this key resource in a much better way. Um, and goal 14? 14. 14. So we've got goal 14 in the UN SDG set, which is to do with managing marine and fishery resources. We need to try and make sure that that kind of captures the energy and the resources needed to um, mean that post 2015 looks very different from pre-2015. Financing is a key part of making it look different. I'd say along financing, alongside financing, is institutions, because of course, in order to manage fisheries better, you need institutional systems that acknowledge ownership, responsibility, um, and rights associated with those um, those fisheries and with the larger marine environment. Now, now we've got two speakers who are going to speak in more depth on these two topics. So rather than hold the space, um, let me turn back to Tessa. But can I just say thank you very much for coming. I'm really delighted that you're here. And I look forward to us being part of a longer term schooling set. Yes. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the comment.